What's up, dudes, dudettes, and all my people of the interwebs? It's me, Bloody Knuckles, playing a game from RPG Maker, as always. It's called Dungeoneer, The Beautiful Escape. It's a pretty dark and twisted game about love and torture. Other than that, I don't know much about it. So, uh, yeah. All I know is it's pretty dark. So, fuck it, let's get into the game. <sighs> this game is intended for mature audiences. For optimized experience, turn the lights out and the speakers up. <laughs> we're totally mature. Right, guys? We're, we're mature, right? Yeah, we're mature. And the lights are definitely out. Totally. Definitely. Yep, and the speakers are up. Got them 7.1 surround sound headsets. So, uh, yeah, we're good. Nicola Clamunio Chad presents. Okay. What's with the heavy breathing? Uh, Alright. Uh. RPGmaker.net Game Gale 2010 Bro, why are you crying? Why are you crying, bro? It's just love. Yo, ah, okay. A story of torture and love. Why are you crying, bro? Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. What? Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Oh, ah. Yeah. A beautiful escape. Dungeoneer. Ah, stop crying. I'm sorry. Stop crying. Okay. Okay, uh, that's, uh, pretty bad. Uh, okay then. So, we see why he was crying. He wasn't being a pussy. Or was he? Maybe. Oh, standing on the rooftop in the rain like a boss. Like a boss? Verge, you're late. I'm sorry. Traffic. Two hour traffic. Two hours? Really? Wow. Time is a fugitive. Yeah. I was just about to leave. But you stayed. Mmm, that's. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's such a hipster. I mean, he's got hipster glasses and that pashmina afghan. Or scarf, whatever. I mean, he looks like such a total hipster. God, and he looks gay. <laughs> He's gay. Nothing wrong with gay people, though. I love gays. So why did you call me? Was there something you wanted to tell me? I just needed to talk to you. It's been a while. I was out of time. I know. London. How was it? Ah, the usual. That old swat is all talk talk, but he never shares his secrets. Conference was pretty elementary. Just like all the others. Basic stuff. Are you sure you want to hear about it? Oh! <laughs> Choices already! Um, um, yes. Tell me the basics. So, uh, I'm guessing this is where we learn about the intro, or, like, learn how, what we're supposed to do, sort of. Uh, maybe. Let's, uh, just see how it goes. Good evening, my friends. <laughs> Swatter. What kind of name is Swatter? <laughs> Look, very creepy, my friend. Very creepy. But, whatever. I guess, you're the boss. Maybe. Or, the most intelligent. Very interesting looking fella. Ugh. Does he have a pedo stash? Oh, anyways. We gather here today in this annual meeting to discuss important issues regarding our community practices. I'd like to welcome all of you newcomers. As you know, I am Swatter. I am one of the people who care very much about restoring the true meaning of the word sadism. 
which has been sadly twisted somewhere between petty sexual fetishes and neurotic social conduct. Oh, oh snap. I am one of those people who take immense pleasure in causing pain and witnessing a merciless and slow destruction of a human's physical and mental well-being. I am one of those who consider pain to be the most intimate form of relationship one person can ever share with another. And if you today, my friend, are here, you're probably a lot like me. So true. So true. So are you saying that you like to make videos of, like, like torture? Of, like, kinky shit? Like, check... Sticks and stones may break my bones, but chains and whips excite me. I said, cut, cut, come on. Oh, sorry. No one likes Rihanna. Oh, right. Swatter is the boss of the Dungeoneers. I don't know if there was ever an election, but he is outrageously rich and makes some exquisitely nice torture videos. So the title is fitting. He is known for adopting a lot of children. Really, a lot. Swatter says he does nothing to them, we believe. Swatter, are you some kind of child pedophile or a molestator? Do you make torture videos of you torturing children? What kind of sick, twisted fucking man are you? Adopting children? You're not Brangelina. You can't get away with it, okay? Only they can. Because they're... Oh, well, I was going to say because they're rich, but so are you. Um, just, well... He likes to touch them little boys, people. Everyone be scared. I mean, looks like he's got a creepy pedo stash, so, I mean, kind of obvious. Right? Right? Am I right? I mean, just, just look at that face. Oh my god. That face. I don't know about you, but I really don't like this guy. I don't trust him. Incidentally, the taste for torture is by no means correlated to the ability of executing it. That is why we, the Dungeoneers, have set a high standard of excellence in our practices. And that is why we always submit the product of our work for other Dungeoneers' appreciation. Oh, so we do submit our videos for others to wank off to. So you built your little dungeon beneath your house. You bought all those fancy pieces of equipment like chains and whips and that kinky shit yeah 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 lord some poor sober home with your sweet talk and now you want to feel something that is worth watching pay close attention to what i will say then you might learn a thing or two are we sure we're talking about that not wanking the first thing you need to understand about torture is that it is always psychological blood Mutilation, pain, these are not torture. It is all about how you make the sober experience the process. Operationally, that means a fine torture should last as long as possible. Do not make it quick. Do never make it quick. You know, my ex, all my ex-girlfriends said the same thing to me. What? 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 I, I, I swear I'm not a two minute man. More like a half minute hero. Shh, never mind. Don't don't pay attention to me. I'm just stop judging me. If you really want to reach the intimate corners of your victim's mind, you should know her well first. Try to explore her likes and dislikes, her fears and her anguishes, her phobias and repressions. If you understand that, you can devise a torture in a way that hits her soft spot. Ooh, kinky. Like, are you talking about the G spot? Is that the kind of soft spot we're going for? Is it? Are we getting dirty now? Human beings are extremely adaptive find ways to settle with the most extreme situations, even suffering. 
Why is it that? That is why we a well-designed dungeon should always be unpredictable. Use different methods. Have variety. Give the poor sober hope, only to surprise him with an even worse trick thereafter. One last issue, the one that most newcomers fail to understand, that our goal is not to kill people. I don't know if it's weird to say, but I really like this guy's maniacality. That his sadistic nature is just, it's enticing, it's interesting. It's like the Joker. Everyone likes the Joker, right? Right? Kill your mom to make a joke about dead babies? No? You don't, you, you, no, you don't like Batman? No Joker? Oh. Well, uh... I'm sorry. Those who want to kill their victims have completely lost with the refined delicacy of torture arts. Oh, so torture is an art now? Like, like painting? Like body painting? I love to cover myself in latex. Makes me feel sexy. What? I'm the only person who does that? It's not normal? I'm a freak? Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, we may end up killing the victims because we can't handle our devices properly. I'm sorry about the body paint joke. I didn't mean it. Like, really, I, I didn't mean it. It is acceptable. At other times, we may push the sovereign's mind too hard and he'll reach a state of despair that prevents his mind from functioning. A sort of psychological death. The death of will. That is acceptable as well. We do not want them, however, to escape our dungeons well. Because it is both frustrating and dangerous. For our social integrity. None of these are the ideal finish for a torture session. No. There is a fine line between the complete destruction of the body and the mind and being capable mentally and physically of living. There is a gray zone. The break. The almost. There is a state so bad that anyone in that condition would want to be dead. But we are not the ones to give them that privilege. We want our victims to escape, but not in a good attention condition. The verge of madness and death. That is how we want the sovereigns to leave our dungeons. Let them have a beautiful escape. Beautiful. Just, just beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> I see what you did there, brah. I see what you did there. It was fun anyway. I met a lot of cool people. A new breed of British Dungeoneers. They got a whole new perspective on Dungeoneering. Interesting chaps. Any particularly interesting chap? Eh, you know. They are all particularly interesting to me. Right. Damn, bro, what's on your mind? That is one resilient ring. You said you needed to talk to me. I believe you haven't been waiting two hours to tell me about the ring. What do you have in mind? Aw, oh, shit. It's about to go down. It's about to get real up in this beach. You're right. There is something else I want to say. I'm just not sure I have the guts to do so. Come on. I'm sure you have the guts. You're pretty gutsy. Mm, gutsy, man. Uh, that's it right there, guys. That, that's it. That, that was hardcore flirting at its finest. Yup. Ladies, if you want to get a man, just, just call him gutsy, man. That's how you, that's how you get him. Yeah. Just say he's gutsy. Just like that. 
Okay. Here it goes. I love you daily. I love you strongly. Passionately. Obsessively. Compulsively. Physically. Mentally. I love you in every way a human can possibly love something. I pray for your presence every single second of my waking day. I love you so very much. Mm, that's well, bitch. That's some reply. Just answer me, god damn it. He's a pretty stone cold bitch. You've told me that many times. Ouch. And there's the heartbreak. Daily is the author of Candle Fingers, my all-time favorite video. Daily is also my all-time favorite person. Left home at 13, had traveled half the world by 20, and today at 27, 28, is one of the most popular Dungeoneers for making spectacular videos and being so likable. Daily can seem extremely passionate and completely careless at the same time. And that's why I hate the fact that I love Daily so much. Yep, sounds like a typical woman for me. Oh yeah. No disrespect, ladies, but it's kind of true. I know. But my need to repeat this won't go away until I get an actual reaction. <laughs> You're adorable, Verge. Verge is a high school librarian slash media specialist who also tries to be a dungeoneer in his spare time. He considers himself to be extremely clever and efficient in making interesting and innovative videos. No one seems to agree. He blames his depression for not having done a single decent video for anything worth noting with his life for the last three years. He blames daily for his depression. Aw, oh, bro. Sometimes I wish I could take you to my dungeon. We would have a great time. Aw oh, snap, shit's getting kinky now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna, what? Oh. That's against the rules. Rules. You and your little rules. That's when things never work out for you. Who said that? I did. I should go now. I haven't unpacked even. Damn. Okay. Goodbye then. Goodbye. Go find yourself some sober and stress out. Dude, you're in love with a hardcore bitch. Yes. I might just do that. Huh. Oh. Oh, I'm controlling now. Ah, oh, look at that skyline. That beautiful fucking skyline on this roof. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, maybe we should go. Yeah, let's go. I should go home before anything else. This is your world. Ah, oh, so we have an overworld, sort of, kind of thing. That's cool. It's an interesting way to get around. I like overworlds. It makes traveling around easier instead of having to run there yourself. Cause that sucks. I mustn't forget to stop at Lori's to get some supplies before I take anyone home. All right, so where's the, oh, there's home, okay. Doo -doo -doo. This is my home, my only ha safe haven in the world and the only place that brings me happiness. Probably because it's a constant reminder of how lonely I am. Well, bro. Forever alone much? Fucking depressing and shit. There are some old photos from when Daly worked as a model. Damn! Damn! Oh, tomboy. Cross dresser. Gender bender. Yeah. Damn. Dude, if Daly looks like that, bro, I see why you're in love with her pretty fucking hot. 
Look at that. So seductive looking. Mm, mm, mm. I should probably throw them away. Is the reason you haven't thrown them away because you used them to wink off to? Oh, looking at the photos again. Uh, look at this. Uh, look at all these photos. So creepy. Ah, oh, look! Little teddy bear. Abby, no. Uh, can I get into bed? What? Nope. Ah, I can't sleep! Oh, creepy. Oh, listen to that music, guys. That music is just beautiful. Oh. Oh, this is a media hub. The engineer's website. Save. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, it's definitely getting interesting. It's pretty sick and twisted so far. I'm really enjoying the concept of it. Uh, I'm sorry there wasn't a lot of gameplay, but we did get a good chunk of story. And every game needs to have a good story base, because if not, then it's just not fun, right? Anyways, uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed the episode. Leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. I would, lo I would love to hear what y'all think. And definitely subscribe. I got a lot of interesting things planned in. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Peace out, and check you later.